In the realm of competitive gaming, the Mortal Kombat 1 Pro Competition stands as a pinnacle of esports excitement. However, beneath the flashy combos and spine-shattering fatalities lies a continuous issue that has stirred the gaming community, a move which raises questions about inclusivity and strategic planning. Welcome to another bite-sized episode of the Realmcast. I'm your host, the Mortal Kombat Phantom. And I'm your other host, Yanni. The Mortal Kombat franchise has long held a somewhat distinguished position in competitive gaming. Known for its visceral combat, iconic characters, and spine-chilling fatalities, the announcement of Mortal Kombat 1 Pro Competition, a global esports program with a $255,000 prize pool, marked a new era of competitive play. The tournament aimed to create a truly international esports ecosystem, bringing together players from different corners of the globe. The MK1 Pro competition was met with resounding enthusiasm, setting the stage for a journey that would captivate audiences and etch the names of the greatest combatants into the tales of Mortal Kombat history. However, amid the excitement, a controversial decision was brewing, one that would add complexity to this grand spectacle. Now, before we get too far into today's bite size episode, I would like to mention that we still have a lot of G Fuel that we are giving away to you guys. And we also have this G Fuel box set so if you would like a chance to win any G Fuel, stick around to the end of the credits where I'll explain how we're giving this away. The decision to confine the MK1 Pro competition to the PlayStation platform has had immediate ramifications, but the potential long-term consequences loom like a shadow over the competitive gaming landscape. While the organizers may have had reasons to consolidate the player pool within the dominant PlayStation ecosystem, the inadvertent neglect of skilled competitors on other platforms raises concerns about the diversity and future trajectory of the tournament. In the short term, concentrating the competition within the PlayStation ecosystem may create an intense and highly competitive environment. The player base on PlayStation is undoubtedly robust, and the decision to focus on this platform could lead to thrilling matchups and nail-biting confrontations. However, the potential exclusion of skilled players on Xbox and PC risks undermining the tournament's credibility as a comprehensive showcase of Mortal Kombat prowess and risks further diminishing the relationship between the studio and players as a feeling of disrespect to those on other platforms grows. As the Mortal Kombat 1 Pro competition unfolds, the disparity between the concentrated PlayStation competition and the sidelined Xbox and PC players becomes increasingly evident. That's not even mentioning the state of Mortal Kombat 1 on Nintendo Switch. The competitive dynamics within the tournament may showcase the strengths and strategies prevalent in the PlayStation community, but it simultaneously fails to represent the holistic essence of Mortal Kombat competition. The game thrives on the diversity of players, playstyles, and approaches that emerge from different gaming environments, and by limiting the tournament to one platform, this diversity is stifled. Moreover, the long-term consequences extend beyond the current iteration of the pro competition. The gaming community values a broad and diverse player base, and any departure from these principles risks alienating a significant segment of potential players. Esports, as a rapidly growing industry, relies on the active engagement of a diverse player base to sustain its momentum. Neglecting skilled competitors on Xbox and PC not only diminishes the tournament's appeal to these players, but also sends a message about the exclusivity of competitive opportunities within the Mortal Kombat community. In the broader context of esports, a diverse player base is a cornerstone for fostering a thriving and sustainable competitive ecosystem. As other tournaments embrace cross-play and seek to unite players across different platforms, the Mortal Kombat 1 Pro Competition's PlayStation exclusivity may be seen as a departure from this industry trend. The long-term consequence could be a divergence of the Mortal Kombat competitive scene from the broader esports landscape, potentially limiting its reach and impact. Additionally, the PlayStation-centric approach risks fostering a sense of elitism within the Mortal Kombat community. As the tournament gains recognition, players from other platforms may perceive a lack of opportunity and representation. This perception can lead to a division within the community, with potential consequences for the overall growth and vibrancy of Mortal Kombat esports. In essence, neglecting skilled competitors on platforms beyond PlayStation may set a precedent for future Mortal Kombat tournaments. If the pro competition continues down this path, it risks becoming a closed circuit that excludes a substantial portion of the player base, ultimately diminishing the tournament's significance in the broader esports landscape, as well as the game within the fighting game community, as it gains an exclusive label, even if not truly a PlayStation exclusive game. As the Mortal Kombat 1 Pro Competition navigates the PlayStation predicament, 
the potential long-term ripples become increasingly apparent. The decision to restrict the battlefield to a single platform not only impacts the current competition, but also shapes the narrative of Mortal Kombat esports for years to come. The organizers and stakeholders must carefully consider these long-term consequences to ensure that Mortal Kombat remains an inclusive and thriving force within the competitive gaming world. As we analyze the impact of this PlayStation-centric approach, questions arise. Can a tournament truly thrive when confined to a single platform? What are the long-term implications of potentially alienating a segment of the player base? Navigating through the PlayStation predicament, the imminent arrival of crossplay in February 2024 adds a layer of complexity to the situation. The question that comes up here is, could the organizers have strategically waited for crossplay implementation before launching the MK1 Pro competition, thus ensuring a more united competitive landscape? While hindsight offers clarity, the decision to proceed without crossplay support places the tournament in a precarious position. The upcoming months will reveal whether crossplay could possibly salvage the competitive integrity and community sentiment, or if the PlayStation centric approach will remain, leaving a lasting impact on this year's Mortal Kombat 1 Pro competition. The dissatisfaction voiced by players on social media platforms serves as a testament to the public relations challenges associated with this decision. Alienating a portion of the player base can lead to negative publicity, potentially impacting the reputation of the tournament and its organizers. The esports community values a broad player base, and any departure from this principle may be met with resistance, both to the game and the tournament, as many believe the game should have been released with crossplay, as is the growing expected standard within the industry. The symphony of anticipation for the MK1 Pro competition has encountered a discordant note, the dissatisfaction of players resonating loudly within the gaming community. As the news of the competition's exclusive allegiance to PlayStation spread, the virtual arenas echoed with a cacophony of discontent. Prominent figures within the competitive Mortal Kombat community were quick to voice their concerns, with former EVO winner Perfect Legend leading the charge. Taking to social media platforms, Perfect Legend highlighted the restrictive nature of the competition, especially for those who had chosen platforms other than PlayStation, stating, MK1 Pro Comp Online is only on PS5. PC and Xbox players just asked out, huh? This is unacceptable. Push the dates back or something, cause nah. This sentiment struck a chord with many, sparking a cascade of responses from players who felt their chosen gaming ecosystems were being marginalized. Beyond the vocal elite, the broader player base has echoed these sentiments. Online forums, social media platforms, and gaming communities became a sounding board for frustrated players who saw the PlayStation exclusivity as a barrier to entry. The potential exclusion of a significant portion of the player base raised concerns about the competition's integrity and whether it truly represented the best of the best in the Mortal Kombat universe. As the discontent spread like wildfire, it posed significant challenges to the MK1 Pro competition's success. The esports ecosystem thrives on the active participation and support of its players, and any fracture in this symbiotic relationship could have long-lasting repercussions. As the Mortal Kombat 1 Pro competition continues its unfolding narrative, the much-anticipated introduction of crossplay in February 2024 brings a mix of relief and perplexity within the gaming community. The promise of crossplay injects a new layer of complexity into the ongoing tournament opening avenues for potential adjustments to tournament rules that could reshape the competitive landscape. The announcement of crossplay introduces a waiting game dynamic, as competitors on Xbox and PC grapple with the challenge of adapting to a new playing field mid-competition. The looming deadlines of the World Finals scheduled for June 2024 intensify the pressure, prompting organizers to consider the potential modifications to tournament rules as a means of mitigating the impact of this significant change. The prospect of adjustments to tournament rules elicits a spectrum of reactions from the player community. On the positive side, players may welcome modifications that facilitate a smoother transition into the crossplay era. Potential adjustments could include additional qualifiers specifically designed for crossplay participants, or the introduction of a grace period during which players can acclimate to the nuances of the new gaming environment. Positively received adjustments would not only acknowledge the challenges posed by the delayed introduction of crossplay, but also demonstrate a commitment to fairness and a diverse player base. A grace period, for instance, would afford players the time needed to adjust their strategies and adapt to the different dynamics of cross-platform play. This proactive approach could help restore a sense of balance and unity within the competitive community. 
However, it's essential to acknowledge that not all potential adjustments may be met with unanimous approval. The gaming community, while adaptable, can be resistant to sudden rule changes mid-competition. Some players may express concerns about the potential disruption to the competitive hierarchy, questioning the fairness of introducing modifications that could alter the trajectory of the tournament. Negatively received adjustments might be perceived as attempts to level the playing field artificially or as concessions to the challenges posed by the PlayStation exclusivity. Critics may argue that the integrity of the competition should be maintained without alterations, emphasizing the importance of adapting to unexpected challenges as an inherent aspect of competitive gaming. The delicate balance between player satisfaction and maintaining the integrity of the pro competition becomes apparent in the face of potential rule adjustments. Striking the right chord is crucial for organizers seeking to navigate this uncharted territory. The gaming community, known for its passion and vocal opinions, will likely scrutinize any adjustments, amplifying the importance of transparent communication and a collaborative approach. As the waiting game unfolds, the potential adjustments to tournament rules become a pivotal aspect of the crossplay narrative. Positive reception could signify a collective understanding of the challenges faced by players, fostering a sense of unity and cooperation. Conversely, negative reception could amplify the discontent voiced earlier in the tournament, underscoring the importance of foresight and strategic planning in esports management. The resolution of this waiting game, intertwined with potential adjustments to tournament rules, will ultimately shape the legacy of the Mortal Kombat 1 Pro competition. Whether it serves as a model for adaptability and a diverse player base or becomes a cautionary tale of mismanagement hinges on the decisions made in the coming months. As the gaming community awaits further announcements, the crossplay era stands as both a challenge and an opportunity for Mortal Kombat 1 to redefine the standards of competitive esports. As we end this bite sized episode's roller coaster ride through the realm of Mortal Kombat 1 pro competition and its competitive controversy, Let's take a moment to reflect not only on its missteps, but also on the promising horizon of Mortal Kombat esports. Imagine a future Mortal Kombat tournament where warriors from all platforms clash in a harmonious dance of brutality. Picture Xbox, PlayStation, PC, and even the Switch, united in glorious combat that transcends platform boundaries. It's a vision that tickles the imagination and fills the hearts of gamers with joy, much like a flawless victory. Despite the bumps along the way, the Mortal Kombat 1 Pro competition is still a reminder that even in the face of controversy, gamers unite under the banner of shared love for virtual combat. As we laugh at the fatalities, cheer for our favorite fighters, and yes, even groan at a few questionable decisions, we find solace in the fact that Mortal Kombat 1 is more than just a game. It's a shared experience that brings people together, even if they're digitally separated through their choice of console. So, as you exit this pixelated arena and return to the real world, remember the lessons from the pro competition. Let's hope for a future where crossplay becomes the flawless victory we've all been waiting for, the general standard in the industry. After all, every warrior in the grand tapestry of Mortal Kombat Esports has a story, and together they form a saga of memories that define our shared journey in the world of Mortal Kombat. But before you go, why not deliver an uppercut of support by liking and subscribing to the Realmcast if you haven't already. Join our community of warriors and stay tuned for future content that goes further into the realms of Mortal Kombat guests, interviews, deep dives, and more. Thanks for sticking around. As I mentioned, we have a lot of G Fuel. We want to give this to you guys. This is just to show our appreciation to all of our fans for subscribing to the Realmcast. So if you're interested in winning any G Fuel between now and our next Soul Stream, leave a comment in any of our videos and we'll take all of the comments, anybody who entered the giveaway, and we will be doing a drawing. You don't have to say I want G Fuel or anything like that. All you got to do is leave a comment. Tell us what you think about the episode. Is that simple. And like I mentioned at the beginning of the episode, we do have this collector's edition dancing dragon pack from G Fuel. I'm going to open it up just so you guys can see. It comes with this Mortal Kombat 1 Liu Kang shaker bottle, which is actually made out of aluminum. It keeps your drink cold. You can take this to the gym, it has a built in little shaker thing. So it'll shake your powders together. You can even like sit at your desk like I do, mix up your drink and sip on it while you're watching the show. And it also comes with the dancing dragon. Liu Kang G Fuel. This particular flavor is dragon fruit mango. Really good, especially if you like more of the fruity G Fuel flavors. So we have that in the collector's box. 
All you got to do to enter to win this is be a subscriber. Just subscribe to the Roamcast. We're going to be going through our subscribers and giving away this G Fuel during our soul stream, which if you're not familiar with that, that is our live show where we go through with our guests and interact with you guys. So just subscribe and we will announce the winner and then just reach out to us after you won and we'll give it to you. If you have won any of our giveaways in the past, please do reach out to us because we're just going to keep giving this up away until it's gone. And if you don't claim it, we'll probably just pass it on to the next person. So if you want some G Fuel, you want some Dancing Dragon collector's box set, let us know because we want to give this to you guys. We appreciate every single one of our fans for subscribing, for interacting with us. We like to hear what you guys think. So leave a comment on the video itself. Tell us what you think about it and win some G Fuel. I mentioned it before, we got four different flavors that we're going to be giving away. We have the Dancing Dragon. We have the Sub-Zero Eye Shatter. We got the Scorpion Sting Spicy Mango. And we got the Radiant Electric Strike. Th these are all the Mortal Kombat Classic 30 Edition Canisters, except the Liu Kang, which is the Mortal Kombat 1 brand new flavor, Dancing Dragon. If you guys haven't tried G Fuel, this is a great opportunity to do it. It's all sugar-free, and it's been known to give gamers a little bit of an edge with increased energy, focus, endurance, and reaction speed. So it's yours. All you got to do is leave a comment and claim it. For every comment received on our YouTube channel and for every subscriber that we have, we're going to be going through and giving you a chance to win. We'll announce all the winners on our next soul stream. And like I've said, we want to give this to you guys because we want to say thank you for tuning into everything that we do here with Mortal Kombat Online. So leave a comment and subscribe and you get a chance to win some of this cool stuff that we have. So come get some G Fuel. We'll send it your way. And again, thank you guys so much for subscribing to the Roamcast. We do the show for you because we love Mortal Kombat and we want to share that with all of you.